It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day and hopefully you guys never ever 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 forget that. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of eating which I haven't done in a really 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 long time and a lot of you guys have been demanding me demanding me to finally record a quick little full day of eating because you guys are curious as to what I eat and I try to keep my meals pretty simple and pretty easy so I'm going to take you guys through kind of a basic day of what I eat. First thing I have here is my hashtag do it for your health drink and as you guys may or may not know if you follow me on Instagram then you guys might have noticed that I post this literally every single day and that's because I literally have this every single day it's so good for your body so good for your health so good for your mind so good for your soul so good for your heart it's so good for so many different reasons but I have the full recipe in a YouTube video that literally takes you through step by step how to make it and what all I put in there so if you guys want to check that out and if you guys want the full recipe to this bad boy then I'll link it up here for you guys and then at the bottom of the description box if that is something that you guys want to try it's the best thing ever first meal of the day we have something that I have been literally craving and having every single day this week I kid you not I have no shame in my game but I have been on a kick of having pancakes every single morning and they're not your typical pancakes like literally all you need are okay let me think four ingredients to make this okay they're super good super healthy super easy to make and fire so let's have some pancakes they are just mm. Mm. bananas check vegan protein chocolate check oats check almond milk check literally all i'm gonna do is one banana one of everything so one banana one little the little scoopy thing of protein and then i'm gonna do one cup of oatmeal boom and then literally one cup full of almond milk and that is literally it. Are you sure you don't want pancakes, Edgar? Yeah, I'm good. We got the whole mixture in, and then we're just gonna... Okay, so if you are the only one who's going to be eating this deliciousness, literally just do one of each. But if it's like two or three of you guys, then obviously you'll double the recipe. However many people are gonna eat, that's how many scoops of everything that you are going to be putting in. But it actually makes a lot well depending on how big your pancakes are but you'll see how big my pancakes are Ooh. now if you're feeling a little chocolatey you can go ahead and add some little chocolate chips or if you don't really like chocolate and you prefer um, to not have chocolate you can feel free to add like some blueberries in there or get creative I typically just leave the pancakes on there for like about two minutes so they can cook and then two minutes and then boom. So you'll have your pancakes ready in like literally cuatro minutos, which, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Leave it up to Sandra to, oh, I mean, they're not that burnt. Question of the day. Do you put peanut butter and jelly on your pancakes? D Edgar, do you? So instead of peanut butter, I actually used this mixed nut butter instead, which has almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And um, I clearly really like it. Is it just me? Or do you guys also put your syrup on the side? But don't be sleeping on the blue agave. Oh, I don't like syrup at all. This is a healthier option and it's so much better and it's just so much it's just better for you it's so good mm. yeah i don't think i'll ever get tired of pancakes you are not left in a food coma after having those pancakes you're not stuffed to the absolute max i probably should have had like 
two or three instead of four because it's a lot it's so fulfilling but that's what i absolutely love about those pancakes is that it's so fulfilling and it's so good for you oh it's so good anyways i'm currently packaging out glute bands haven't finished packaging them all out, but I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that if you guys do purchase a glute band, they usually get packaged out in the morning. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is that you purchase a glute band, they always get packaged out and shipped out every single morning. But regardless, booty gains are in route to all my queens and kings who have bought a glute band. I wanted to quickly show you guys how many of you are from Texas purchasing the glute band like look at this we have one from foot okay hold on there's more there's more we got one from irving like so many of you queens are from tejas represent oh, yes queen i kid you not this is literally my second home but we made it baby what time is it? Jimmy time. It's time to celebrate. I got the sports bra. I got the shorts. And I got the matching shoes. It is time to work out and I'm so excited because today we got another brutal full body workout from my at home full body workout plan volume those to all my queens and kings who are doing this plan with me you guys already know what's about to go down it's gonna be quite the workout but before we actually go work out and get it done i'm gonna snack on something because it's been like three and a half hours since i had pancakes so you guys know me i'm a snacker i don't want to have something too like too heavy you know what i mean because i don't want it to you know so we're actually going to snack on a couple snacks, not all of them, but I wanna show you guys what I'm snacking on because there's like options, okay. Today, I'm actually going to be eating the sour cream and onion flavor. But let me show you guys what I'm working with. So, we got that flavor, we got the strawberry and cream, which I'm not really feeling this right now because I had pancakes earlier and I just don't want that. <laughs> uh, we also have baked cheddar and then the oven brick pizza now these type of snacks is the type of snacks you'll see me snacking on throughout the day literally anywhere i go i will have a snack or two or three or four i like options okay but today we're actually gonna snack on these bad boys and let me show you guys the macros for those who are curious so for this flavor there are 3.5 grams of fat 2 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein which is just absolutely insane do you want a snack you want to smell it? Mm. Oh. Is that a burp? Oh! <laughs> but we're on street. It says that if you guys want to try out all of these flavors, plus get a $10 coupon to get some more, then check out my link down below. You guys can just click on it, and all you have to do, <laughs> do you want to? All you have to do is pay $3.95 for shipping, and then you get all of these for free, plus a $10 gift card. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, you guys wanna try something new, you know what to do. But we're gonna go work out. Come on, babe. Vamanos. I'm back and I am better. I decided to change and look semi-presentable and not sweaty and disgusting, so I showered. <laughs> and here I am about to go make some din din. I wanna just do like a clear like disclaimer. Okay, so what I eat right now and what my meals are looking like obviously works for me and it might or might not work for you, but I just wanted to let you guys know that everyone obviously is different. The way I eat is the more natural the food, the more natural it is, the better and the more I'm going to want it. So I don't really eat processed foods or frozen foods or any of that sort. For me, I feel like the more natural it is and the more organic the food, the better it is for my body, my digestive system, and just my overall health. I just feel so much better when I have organic and natural foods, which is why I eat the way that I eat. I would say I'm like 90% vegan. Every time I have 
junk food or cheese or like dairy in general um, it's just not a good time and it's not a fun time <laughs> which is why I eat the way that I eat obviously you guys have only seen one of my meals so far but this next meal is obviously gonna be not um, pancakes okay so while we cook I'm gonna be snacking on some carrots with the best hummus in the world okay this is literally the best hummus I have ever had. One of the best hummuses that I've ever had. This is from Costco. Literally 95% of the foods that are in our fridge are from Costco or Trader Joe's. We're actually going to be needing some this and some this. We're going to be needing an avocado and then some of this yumminess. And can't forget about z bread i kid you not this is one of the best rolls that i've had in a really long time they are so good and here are the macros there are 48 grams of carbs 1.5 grams of fat and 8 grams of protein and of course if you guys want to substitute the bread for something else that's not super high in carbs you guys are more than welcome to do that as well you guys can do like a tortilla or maybe just one slice of bread or you can substitute it and use some of these because these are super low in calories so basically what we're going to be making are is is some tofu sandwiches and a lot of people don't really like tofu because they say that it's very hard to cook with which honestly I have never had an issue with cooking tofu if you guys are familiar with cooking with tofu and you guys have a bomb recipe that you guys want to share comment down below and let us all know what your favorite recipe is. I literally just slice them up and put them in the pan and let them cook and crisp up and they're so good do you even like Tofu, are you vegan? Are you not vegan? Because I low-key kind of am, and I'm not going to lie, the, the low-key vegan life is a good life. But first, we snack because your girl is starving. So I literally just cut them and slice it all up in very thin pieces. That way it can like cook easier. I feel like they cook so much better when they're like in thin slices like this yes yes so we're just going to grab these bad boys and just place them on the pan and get nice and toasted and yummy so while our tofu is cooking up we're going to grab our bread place it in our little toaster and let them get toasted it's smelling like crispy tofu over here Ooh, that's that's nice oh oh that's real nice so this is what we're gonna do so after your breads are nicely toasted we're going to grab the cream cheese and we're gonna put that on one slice of bread and then the avocado and this yummy mayo I don't like mayo but this mayo is the only mayo that I will ever eat we're going to put that on the other one. And you can't forget about the everything bagel seasoning topped on top of both of them. And then you'll just grab your tofu pieces and place them on top. Boom. Look how beautiful. Okay, it's probably not the beautifulest thing you've ever seen, but... Take a bite and thank me later. You want some tofu? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Woo! Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Delicioso. I can cry, it's so good. I legitimately only have like two meals, sometimes three a day, but that's because in the morning I drink my hashtag drink free health drink. And then if I do have those pancakes like I did this morning, I'm literally stuffed for like 
three and a half hours to four hours because it's so fulfilling and the volume of the food was like a lot but i feel like that's the reason why i don't eat so much or so many times a day i literally just have like i said two to three meals a day which is fine by me i would much rather do that than like eat every two hours but i want to be full and with really good yummy nutrients in my body and i know my hashtag do it for health drink is super duper good um and then obviously the pancakes are super good and fulfilling and then the tofu sandwiches that i just had fine and my next meal i don't know would you even consider it a meal do you consider your dessert as a meal yes or no but i sandra perez consider my dessert as a meal which i'm gonna have in probably like two hours or so this is a recipe that you guys have been demanding me to show you guys and i'm so excited to finally show you guys what i'm gonna have it is so good so so good so make sure you have your pants on and make sure they don't fall off when i show you guys what it is because it is that good a few moments later it's dessert time recipe coming at you in three two After you mixed in all your ingredients, you're literally going to pour that into that. So it should look something like this. And then you can't forget about the almond milk. Here is what it should look like after you mix it all up. Yes. After you blended it all up, it should be still kinda liquidy. And then I usually leave it in the freezer for about like 30 minutes to about an hour just so it can get a little bit more of a icier consistency if that makes sense because it's kind of already like a little bit more liquidy than I would like it to be. So I just typically leave it in the freezer for a good 30 minutes to an hour and then I just um, devour it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But that is going to wrap up today's full day of eating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my simple yet easy meals. Let me know if you guys tried them out. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more full days of eatings. Because I have a lot more meals. Easy, quick, amazing, yummy, delicious, nutritious meals that i can also show you guys that i typically eat but that is it for today my stomach is happy my body is happy i am super duper happy and i cannot wait until my smoothie bowl is done i'm gonna top it with some oreos mm. Mm. you guys can get as creative as you would like you don't have to put oreos on top you can literally put popcorn or graham crackers or you can literally just eat it as it is it is so good without any toppings but that is going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you guys did. And I will see your gorgeous self in the next one. Bye.